In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how we have a data structure. And then this data structure is a constant independently. And then we're going to create eventually three different lines from this data structure. So we're going to create from the data structure three individual data sets and based on that specific data structure, which will be interesting and very efficient way of coding as well. In this video, we're going to focus on how to use data structures for multiple data sets in Chart.js. So data structures are really powerful and you can do quite a lot of things with it. And one of the things that I want to show you here is how to use one data set or data structure to create multiple data sets. And you've seen maybe some other videos where we can change it, but what I want to do here more specifically is just to use one day, one constant variable and we're going to extract it and make multiple lines of it. So let's start and work on that. To do this, we need to have first a default code. So make sure you go to charges3.com, getting started with this specific link here. And for some reason, I get this weird error here, but I noticed that Firefox is fine and my other computer is well fine. So I can ex explain or cannot solve this issue for now. So I'm going to copy this here. And this code here is basically the default code that we're going to use. If you want to understand this code, please watch this specific video here that explains it. So what we're going to do here, we're going to just paste this in here. And once I paste it in here, I will just get, grab the title here and rename the title here. Save that and refresh and there we are. So now we have a basic bar chart with our data already in place. However, I don't want to use eventually these kind of data sets here, or at least the data in here. I want to create a new specific constant that has a data set built in. So I'm going to say here, or sorry, not a data set, but a data structure. And from the data structure, we're going to extract the data we want to create a bar or a line. So let's make it a line chart, which is probably a bit more interesting here. So make this a line chart that gets border width, can be removed. Maybe here we can say tension. 0 0.4. If I do that, let's refresh. You can see here now we have this beautiful. All right. So what I want to do here is the following. Let's say a constant, and this constant we can call this. Let's say our uh, uh, sales figures or sales numbers, uh, whatever, anything like that. Basically, what I want to do in here this is just a constant with certain values. So first of all. We're going to make sure that we have an X and Y. So if this would be, well, you say weekly, let's say daily sales. So this is basically our daily sales. And what we want to do here then is the first one would be maybe the day or the date. It's one or the other, what you could name, it doesn't matter. In this case, I'll just make it simple. I'll just say Monday and I say comma. And then I say sales here. And the sales here will be eventually divided into multiple categories let's assume we are a restaurant and we have food sales and we have drink sales and maybe any retail or merchandise that restaurant would contain although most of them they do not have it so i will just leave it as uh, food i'll just give it one five and then drinks sales two hundred dollars and if i well let's say here we are selling as well cakes that you can bring home so cakes cakes to go and that is maybe one hundred dollars so we have three specific items in here. So what I want to do now is I want to duplicate this. So we have for seven days in a row. So I'm just going to paste these in here. And then we have here now seven items. There we are. I can remove the last comma here. And then here I will just change this and just rename all of those, put in there. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and finally Sunday. And then here we can put in any kind of value. So I'm going to just change this. It will be 1200, 1200, and this will be uh, 1800. And then let's say you have 1500, and this one 21. For Sunday is a busy day. And then here, same story. Let's make this 500, 400, 300, 100. And then here again, 200, and maybe this 250, and this one 350. All right, so the cakes are on the weekdays. We sell more cakes. Uh, let's give it a little bit of a different value. Then here we also sell $400 in cakes. And after that, it's like, all right. So we have this here. Doesn't matter so much. 
Once we're done here, semicolon here. All right, so now we have these sales numbers here. Basically, what we want to do is we want to remove this, and then we're going to change here as well. So we have here basically three data points here, or basically three different lines. We have one for food, one for drinks, another one for cakes. And what I want to do here in this case is even to create these data sets, we're going to make three specific data sets with three different colors. So I'm just going to grab here, let's say uh, I'm going to move this one. So we have the red, blue, and green color, and all the others can be removed. And the reason I'm going to remove all of those is eventually we're going to make three data sets and use these colors. All right, so what I'm going to do here, let's put these colors here up so we can use them later on. Now what we're going to say is the following. The data labels are now uh, removed. We don't need them here anymore because we will grab it from this one here. So if you see my other video regarding to a uh, pie chart and uh, donut chart, they don't have these kind of things and they are required to have the labels. But for here, bar line and all the others, not necessary. We can remove them. We can just extract here the labels that will be eventually on the X scale. All right, so we have this here. The data here will be basically set on this constant number here. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to say here it will be this. We have this one here and then we have here the colors. Well, I'm going to say the first one will be red. And this will be specifically focused on uh, the daily food sales. So let's say daily, uh, let's call this the food sales. Food sales, all right. Remove all of these extra items here. There we are. Oh, sorry, I didn't want to do that. Copy this. All right. So once we copy this, what I want to do here is, well, we can do we can duplicate them, but I just before I want to duplicate, I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. If you use data sets, normally you put in the options. In this case, I don't want to put in the options, and what I want here is basically this. I want to put it now here specifically in the data set itself saying that we want to parse and get only the specific value that we need. So we say here, parsing, and then here parsing, and parsing means to make something readable for. So we're going to make something readable for our chart, and what exactly we want to make sure that the food is readable, or this data structure is readable for us. So in here, all we need to go is from the sales to this. But we need to specify, so we can specify here on the x-axis key, let me say here first the day. And we can eventually remove this. I'm going to show you later on a more efficient way to write that. And we have here the x x sorry the y-axis key, and this one will be the sales dot food. Basically here sales and then go to the food here. I'm going to comment out this because we'll be using that later on. Save this. And now, if I refresh, we should see here now the values are matching here. This is the food sales, and this is 1, 5, then we have here 1, 8, and then we have here 1, 2. All right, so let's confirm. 1, 5, 1, 8, 1, 2. Beautiful. And then the ending point would be 2, 1. There you are. So that works nicely. You can see here, final one. All right, so let's copy down the other data sets. Comma, and another comma, and then here this could be the drink. Sales or drinks sales or I guess drink sales is probably more better and here cake sales or cake takeout sales So what we want to do here then is basically sales drinks and sales cakes so We say here cakes and this one would be drinks with an s here. Why because the Object name here is drinks. All right, we have this here now I want to just grab the color so you can see some different colors In here, so I'm going to put it in there and I'm going to Paste it in here as well for the border, but I'll make sure that this is solid. All right. Then we have this one here. We would change this color into a greenish color. So I'm going to put it in here as well, but here as well, alpha value one. So there's no transparency on this one. Save this. We can remove now this. We don't need this anymore. Refresh. And now you can see we have now three lines created in one single data set here, immediately inserted in here nicely. So this is a way to play around to be more efficient with your code. And you might say, well, can we can we even make this a bit more concise? Yes, you can. You can just copy this. If we would just cut out this, we we'll to put it in here. We have in the scales, let's say parsing here. So when we do this, we will now apply every 
uh, every data set will have the same application here and then we can say here parsing and we say here the x-axis key will be day remove this remove that one we can save that and refresh you can see here it works exactly the same and it doesn't damage or changes or modifies the chart in any way so that's basically how you do it you could even do it with attention we could move the tension in the options here to make it more shorter but you probably understand now the essence of it so this is basically how you can play around with this maybe if you're looking at this you say well hold on how do i create this if i would have multiple arrays basically arrays where you have all these numbers just in one array and this one in an individual array well guess what i have a specific video covering that and i will make more videos about that specific topic but it's called here it's you can find the the essence of it in here in how to convert arrays into multi-dimensional arrays or data structures in chart.js highly recommend this video that will show you exactly how to convert these kind of codes here